everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to continue working on the postal themed lab book and I'm going to start the second folio today. The first thing I do is cut a piece of paper to the size of the panel and this will be the back side of the panel of the folio sorry and then I am going to use this strip of Tim Holtz craft cardstock that I want to make a slit of. I'm going to start off by rounding the corners and then I'm going to punch two holes with my crocodile and then slit it open to create a slot where we can slide in the removable notepad. I am then going to measure out this red piece of craft card silk because that is going to be the top of the notepad. So I'm going to measure it with my pencil because then I know what width I am going to need for my papers. I'm then going to score a one of an eighth inch spine so that it has a bit of room for the papers that I'm going to use. I'm then going to round the corners and I'm only going to do that on the front and then I'm going to distress it with my sanding disc. Uh, then it's time to attach this to the back panel and once it's uh, attached I'm going to cut out that strip of paper. At first I'm going to use the crocodile to create the circles again or the holes again and then I can easily cut out the strip. And then I'm going to do some inking. And then I'm going to attach this to the piece of cardstock. And I believe that was 220 GSM plain white cardstock. I'm then going to check to see if it will fit and it does so now it's time to pick out the papers that I want to use but before I do that I want to make a um, yeah like sort of a back panel that will be glued in and that will give the removable notepad a bit of sturdiness and that's also going to be the piece that you will slide into the slot and I'm going to cut that to the right size and then glue it down.
these are the papers that I want to use for the notepad. And I chose a bunch of vintage uh, papers as well as some tea dyed stuff. I'm going to use some clips to put them in place. And then I'm going to use my crocodile to punch out four holes. And I'm going to use some bread because uh, then you can switch out the papers if you want to. And I also just like the look of the four breads. And these breads are from Tim Holtz. And that's the notepad ready. I really like how it turned out. There's lots and lots of writing space. So this could actually act as if it was a journal. And then you just slide it in the sloth. I'm going to use this new stamp set tidbits. And as you can see, they printed the stamps a bit wonky. And yeah, I'm not really happy about that to be honest but yeah there's nothing really i can do about it but it does make it a bit harder to stamp as well because you don't really see properly <laughs> where you're stamping i guess uh so yeah let me know down in the comments if you have this stamp set and if yours is printed wonky as well With that, the notepad is finished and now I'm going to start the next flaps. I've used some copy paper to, uh, yeah, to sort of like make a template of what I want to do. And then I'm going to cut out two pieces of the 220 GSM uh, cardstock, the plain white one. And I'm going to use the templates to know where I should score and cut. Oh, and I also did some sewing around the border of the back panel, by the way. I'm sorry, I didn't mention that. Uh, then I'm going to create a notch because I want to create two pockets. And I would like this shape uh, to be the panel. And then there's going to be pockets on top of that. I then inked around all of the edges and now I'm going to reinforce all the spines with the uh, same tape that I used on the first folio and this is Tim Holtz washi tape. To make sure that it will be stuck down properly I'm also going to use some art glitter glue uh, underneath. This is the piece of paper that I mentioned before from a printable and this is from Tracy Fox Dispatch uh, Kit. And then I want to create a sort of like a herringbone style 
pockets, if that makes sense, with triangles. I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, so I'm going to make a bunch of triangles to create pockets. Then I'm going to use this uh, card postal. This is part of my kit. You can find it on Ko-Fi. Uh, and this is the card postal kit. And I'm going to use one of those to add as if it was the last pocket. I then want to add a tab. At first I added just a normal tab, but I didn't like the look of it. So I want to create a bigger tab that goes around the entire uh, pocket. So I'm going to use this Tim Holtz craft cardstock again, and I'm going to punch out a tab. And then I'm going to slide off the excess with my knife. I then did some sewing around the edges and then I'm going to stick down the tab after I have used my sanding disc to roughen it up a bit. Then I'm going to do some stamping and I'm going to use the correspondence set with my Fallen Leaves Versafine Claire.
To create more interest, I decided to add three eyelets in sort of like a triangle shape. And I'm then going to use some double-sided tape as well as some art glitter glue to put down or to glue down the pocket into place. I then chose some pieces of paper that will be journal cards or whatever you want uh, to go inside the pockets and I'm going to ink around all of the edges and then I'm going to attach this real piece of vintage paper uh, with handwriting on it uh, as if it was a yeah like a mini letter or something I'm going to um, fold it over the pocket and then use a Tim Holtz mini paper clip but as you can see, the paper is a bit ripped, so I'm going to use some cello tape to fix it. And I also have this handwritten letter, or it's not really a letter, it's actually schoolwork. I'm also going to add a piece of cello tape to that, and then I'm going to slide that into the back pocket. I then want to do a tiny bit of decorating on the red part and I'm going to use this piece of stamped paper that I made, I don't know, a while ago. And it has one of the stamps on it from the uh, correspondence set of Tim Holtz. And then I'm going to use this tiny strip of paper as well and that's from the Elizabeth Craft Designs book. And then I want to use a picture from my... Um, mail from the past kit which is also on ko-fi i believe this one is part of the freebie but i'm not a hundred percent sure uh so yeah you can find it on my ko-fi uh and i want to add that in one of the pockets as well And then for one last little touch, I also want to add a bit of stamping. I then punched out two circles from the craft cardstock again so that I can make a closure because I want to attach this flap and then I want to use some thread to hold it closed and I'm going to use my exacto knife to punch a tiny hole so that I know where I need to punch the hole with my crocodile and then I'm going to use a bread at first I wanted to use a uh, eyelet but I decided against it and then I decided to use a bread instead and then I'm going to attach a bit of this brown thread so that I can use it to close it up but I decide to use a different thread later on in the video I then cut out two pieces of paper to mat this flap with and I'm going to ink around the edges of both of them.
And I'm then also going to attach the other hole to this piece. And I do that before I glue it down because that way the bread will be invisible. And I'm then going to attach the flap to the folio. And I'm going to use some double sided tape as well as some art glitter glue. I then totally realized that I forgot to put a hole reinforcer on the back of those circles to make it easier to thread, uh, to put a thread, but yeah, it's too late for that now. Uh, then I'm going to create two policy pocket envelopes on top of this, uh, yeah, on the front part of this flap. And I'm going to start off by using a piece of the uh, cardstock, the white stuff, and then I'm just going to fold it the way that I want the width to be and then I'm going to make two notches again to create the pocket, the opening. I'm going to slice off the rest with my precision knife and I'm going to slice it a bit lower and then I'm going to cut off the rest to round it again because otherwise the opening of the envelope was a bit too small. I hope this makes sense, but yeah. And then I'm going to use my scoring board to score, I believe it's half an inch. Uh, on the bottom and then I'm going to cut out the squares or rectangles I'm then going to round those corners with my corner rounder and I'm going to use the middle section or the middle setting sorry And this will be the bottom of the envelope. And the last thing I do is I want to fold over one of the edges to make a neater finish. And I'm also going to miter the uh, pieces just a tiny bit, the flaps. Once I'm done making the bases of both of them, I'm going to ink around the edges that are visible. And then I'm going to mat the entire envelopes.
And with that, the envelopes are finished. I then decide that I want to add a bit more interest to the actual panel. So I'm going to use this piece of paper and tear off the edge to create a bit of texture. And then I'm going to glue the pockets on top. And here you can see that I'm going to switch out the threads, as I've mentioned before. I then want to create two journal cards to go inside the pockets and I decided to use two of my photos again. These are also part of the kit and I believe these are also freebies. Uh, the link to my Kofi is listed down below by the way so you can grab those. And then I'm going to use this piece of light blue paper because I want to add a bit more blue because it's a lot of red happening right now. Uh, I want to create two tabs to go on top of the journal card and I'm going to use the same step on both of them and then I'm going to ink around the edges of the paper and I want to create a tiny bit more interest so I'm going to use some uh, leftover strips of paper from the project and I'm going to tear edges off so that I can put those underneath of the picture to create a bit more interest and these are the same things that I used on the envelopes and doing this it will also tie in with the entire panel I then decided I want to get rid of the pol uh, Polaroid look so I'm going to snip off a piece of the photos and I do that because I need a bit more room because of the tabs. And then I'm going to round the top corners. But I want to do some stamping and I'm going to use my red Versafine Claire in the color Chianti for that. And I'm going to stamp it on both of the cards. And then I'm going to stick down the pictures. And then I'm also going to attach the two tabs. Then on the back I want to use a few rub-ons and these are from the eccentric rub-on set. And then I'm also going to do some stamping.
Then for the front, I want to add two more strips of words. This one said special and the other one says approved. And I'm going to add a bit of the cello tape underneath as well. And then I'm gonna go looking for two stamps of the postmarked sticker book from Tim Holtz. And the last thing that I want to do is decorate the top of the pocket and with that the video is also almost over. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and comment down below. And you can also turn on the notification bell so that you will never miss an upload. Subscribe for more. Have a nice day wherever you are. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!